Raymond Felton is facing felony charges in New York for unlawful possession of a firearm. New York has strict gun possession laws, and the point guard was arrested after turning himself into authorities just hours after last night's game against Dallas. Felton's estranged wife reportedly gave authorities a pistol claiming it belonged to Felton. Just what this means in terms of his NBA status remains to be seen. The league is monitoring the situation, uh, as is SI.com legal analyst Michael McCann, uh, who joins us live now uh, via the telephone. And Michael, what's the very latest? Because I understand uh, that Raymond Felton's been in custody all day. What's up? All right, the latest is that he has appeared in court, according to one report on ESPN.com. And the report indicates that there will not be any travel restrictions on him, uh, that bail has been set at $25,000, which is obviously not a significant amount of money for him. He's still in trouble, though, and I think it's worth emphasizing that he faces gun charges in the worst state possible to face gun charges. That is the state of New York. Uh, it's unclear what class of gun charges he faces, and that's a key issue, because if he faces a class a C charge, he would be facing a minimum of three and a half years behind bars. If it's instead of Class D, which I'm now hearing it is, that would be good news for him because then a judge would have sentencing discretion if, in fact, he's convicted. So uh, where do we stand right now in what the New York Knicks, A, and the NBA, B, could do in this situation? Well, the New York Knicks probably will wait until the NBA decides what to do, and I think the NBA wants to determine if it's appropriate to suspend him while he faces these charges. We know that back in 2010, the NBA under David Stern acted swiftly after Gilbert Arenas was charged with bringing guns into the Wizards locker room. They didn't wait around. They suspended him indefinitely, and that indefinite suspension became a season-long suspension. Here, though, the story is a little bit different. The fact is he didn't, as, it hasn't yet been established that he, in fact, possessed the gun. And I think Commissioner Silver will likely wait until he sees the final report the, Knicks, the problem for the Knicks, then, is that they really have to wait for the NBA. The Knicks could, in theory, try to avoid his contract under the uniform player contract. There's something called Clause 16, which says, basically, if a player doesn't conform to the standards of being a good citizen, the team can try to avoid his deal. But the history of teams doing that is really bad. The Golden State Warriors were unable to terminate Latrell Sprewell's contract even after he choked his coach. The Wizards didn't terminate Gilbert Arena's contract, and the Celtics couldn't get, get out of Ben Baker's contract, even when he wasn't able to work allegedly due to alcohol. So I think right now, Ernie, the next step is the Knicks wait to see what the NBA does, and the NBA will likely take its time to make any kind of swift decision. Uh, if you could just shed some light on the circumstances of the events, because when you, when you get on and read different accounts, there's, well, he reportedly waved a gun at this person, that kind of thing. Do, you, do we have a good read on exactly what happened? Well, the facts are still emerging, and, and that's to be expected in, in a story like this that has some element of domestic violence, perhaps, or at least a domestic dispute. And the report that we believe to be the case is that his estranged wife, Ariane Raimondo Felton, turned a gun over, specifically a Belgian pistol, to the New York police and said, it's his. And, and it appears that that was a reaction, or at least part of the decision, following an argument between Felton and a woman who is described as his girlfriend, whose name hasn't been released by law enforcement. So the estranged wife turns the gun over to the police, either by herself or through her attorney, and says, this is his. The problem for the prosecution is that, how do we know it's his? Felton could say it's not his gun. How do you prove possession when he's not the one who was found with the gun? He'll likely argue that any type of evidence that implicates him, whether it's video evidence or photographs of him with a gun or fingerprints, all will have issues that his lawyer will try to attack. So the case against him has to be more than just his estranged wife saying, this is his gun. Hey, uh, Michael, thank you so much. Uh, a lot of layers to this story. Thanks for staying on top of it, for joining us here on Fan Night tonight. Thanks a lot. You got it. Thanks for having me on. All right, Michael McCann. Uh, SI.com, their legal analyst and other news.